Real Madrid's injury crisis, a major test for Ancelotti's squad depth. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a pressing issue that has been making headlines in the football world Real Madrid's significant injury crisis. With a total of eight players currently sidelined, the challenges facing the club are mounting, and the latest blow is the news that Eder Militao has picked up a muscular injury while on international duty with Brazil. Let's explore how this situation is affecting the team, the implications for manager Carlo Ancelotti, and what this means for Real Madrid's ambitions this season. The severity of the injury crisis. Real Madrid has always been a club known for its depth and talent, but the current injury list is proving to be a major headache for manager Carlo Ancelotti. The club is grappling with the absence of key players, and the timing couldn't be worse as the season is just unfolding. The injured players include 1. Eder Militao, the Brazilian defender, a crucial part of Madrid's backline, has suffered a muscular injury, adding to Ancelotti's defensive woes. 2. Donny Ceballos, a creative midfielder whose absence is felt in the team's transition play. 3. Froland Mendy, a reliable left-back who provides both defensive stability and attacking support down the flank. 4. Aurelian Chalmini, a promising young midfielder who adds energy and dynamism to the squad. 5. Jude Bellingham, the English midfielder, recently signed, was expected to play a pivotal role this season. 6. David Alaba, Alaba's versatility is crucial as he can operate both in defense and midfield. 7. Jesus Vallejo, another defensive option whose absence limits Ancelotti's choices at the back. 8. Eduardo Camavinga, a vibrant talent in the midfield, his injury further depletes the central options. The absence of these players is not just about missing individual talents. It's about the cumulative effect on the squad's balance and tactical flexibility. Challenges for Carlo Ancelotti Carlo Ancelotti is a seasoned manager with a wealth of experience, but the current situation is testing even his expertise. Navigating the early stages of the season with a depleted squad requires strategic ingenuity and adaptability. The primary challenges include Defensive fragility, with both Militao and Alaba sidelined, the defense lacks leadership and solidity. Ancelotti must find a way to fortify the back line without his first-choice defenders. Midfield creativity and control, the injuries to Ceballos, Chaumini, Bellingham and Kamavinga mean that Madrid's midfield is missing creativity, energy, and control. Ancelotti needs to find alternative solutions to maintain dominance in the middle of the park. Squad rotation and fatigue, with fewer options available, the risk of overplaying the fit players increases, potentially leading to more injuries or fatigue-related performance dips. Implications for Real Madrid season The injury crisis comes at a crucial juncture as Madrid aims to compete on multiple fronts, including La Liga, the UEFA Champions League, and domestic cups. The long-term absence of key players could have several implications. Performance impact The quality and depth of the squad will be severely tested. Dropping points in the league due to an inability to feel the strongest, she could impact their title challenge. Tactical adjustments, Ancelotti may need to alter his tactical setup to accommodate the available players, which could lead to a temporary change in playing style. Transfer market reactions, depending on the duration and severity of the injuries, Madrid might consider dipping into the transfer market in January to reinforce the squad. Conclusion Real Madrid's current injury crisis is undoubtedly a significant challenge that the club must overcome. For Carlo Ancelotti, it's an opportunity to showcase his managerial prowess, making tactical adjustments and integrating fringe players to maintain competitiveness. The coming weeks will be crucial in determining how effectively Madrid can weather the storm and continue their pursuit of success across all competitions. We'll keep you updated on any developments and potential recoveries of these players. So make sure you subscribe to our channel for the latest news and analysis. Let us know in the comments how you think Real Madrid will cope with these injuries and who you believe will step up in the absence of the sideline stars. Thank you for watching and see you next time.